Do you play Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into these cameos. Believe it or not, I love to double down on the freeze when playing Sub-Zero, so I love to use Frost. And the bigger reason why is two things. My opponent is already afraid to approach me because of my Ice Clone ability, but having Frost back cameo that Ice Orb just creates even more pressure and makes my opponent not want to approach me even more. But the biggest thing I love about Frost is, of course, her low freezing. A lot of opponents expect your overhead your back too. They expect that quite a bit, so they'll be blocking high a lot of the time. You throw them off guard with the low freeze? That's a free combo for you. I just love the idea of like double freezing. Sub-Zero and Frost makes just for a fun combination. Not just double freeze, but why not go double Sub-Zero? If your opponent's jumping in on you, you can always use the Ice Clone, sure. But you can always use Sub-Zero's forward cameo as an anti-air as well. Plus, Sub-Zero's cameo, standard cameo move, makes Sub-Zero projectile and vulnerable, allowing us to be able to throw out the Ice Ball and not to worry about getting interrupted or anything like that. Because we all know how slow the Ice Ball move is, and cameo Sub-Zero helps us be able to do that by making us projectile and vulnerable. It's just a great tool all around. Because you can't really combo with your Ice Ball, let's say you wanted to go 4-1-2 Ice Ball, that's not gonna hit. They have the option to block that. But Darius says, nope, you ain't gonna block-ish. So I love that Darius offers the ability to use her Ice Ball in a combo. And just really give us that combo extension that Sub-Zero really wants to have. Plus, Sub-Zero really only has one major overhead option. That's his back two for combo extension. So your opponent's looking forward to that and they know you want to go with the lows as well. But Darius offers another overhead option with his forward cameo. Allowing for a major pop-up and an overhead and ability to freeze. I also chose Serena as a great cameo for Sub-Zero for two main reasons. Sub-Zero players really want to have a good projectile. We have our Ice Ball, but again, it's so slow, your opponent's going to be expecting it. And Serena offers two other forms of projectiles, her forward cameo, which is a really fast, good projectile, and of course, her back cameo for combo extension and four projectiles. Again, just another tool that Sub-Zero really wants to have. Plus, Sub-Zero can really excel in the corner, and using Serena's default cameo move to drain our opponent's meter is huge, because again, Sub-Zero can just go absolutely Absolutely A while in the corner. So draining your opponent's meter, giving Sub-Zero a really good projectile. Serena is great for Sub-Zero. But I want to hear from you guys. These are just my recommendations. Let me know down below who do you pair with Sub-Zero as a cameo. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.